hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day today. I know I am, because you're here, and we get to play in the nail room. So, let's get started. Okay, so today I have Olive Ave Polish Herbology on my nails, and I bought two different types of clear. I bought a Perfect Match um, Le Chat clear as well as an Eye Gel Beauty clear acrylic powder. You can see that the Perfect Match is the dip but they're like three in one. But I wanted to see how good they were and so I thought I'd swatch them on these black and I thought you know if I want to see how good they are maybe you guys want to see how good they are. Because I know that the 60% off sale from iGel Beauty started back up again. So I think there's like another week or so added on to it. So who knows if it's ever going to end. But I know that you can buy like a huge monster sub for like $35. So if this is any good, you know, it might be worth it. Especially for those of you that are nail techs or like hillbilly nails just did a whole bunch of acrylic mixes on her channel and i know she really enjoys doing that so if you really enjoy you know doing acrylic mixes on your own you know you might want to know if these are any good because lord knows we do not need another model one's catastrophe here there was no way that I was going to get sick. Oh, and by the way, I'm using Young Nails Monomer because it seemed like all the videos that I've seen with the eye gel beauty acrylics, the best, they seem to perform the best with the Young Nails Monomer. If, does that make sense? <laughs> I hope so. All right, I'm just wiping it off with a little acetone, giving her a little rub down. And I honestly think that that looks fantastic. And look, I forgot to show you that it was iGel Beauty's top coat too before I started top coating the nail. And apparently, I believe you only needed to see half of the nail. It's fine. There we go. We threw the iGel Beauty thing in there in the middle. Go, Lori. I'm so glad you know how to edit. All right, scoot you back up. There you go. Hey, at least it's in there. You know, I could have totally, I mean, it's a whole, I think, one second splash. Like, boo, here I am. Bye. And there is the iGel Beauty one. I think it turned out really good. This is the Perfect Match. And it's also just a clear acrylic powder. Don't mind my little cat hair in there. Charlie is super shedding right now. I don't know what's going on. Well, I do too. It's spring. Poor little thing's just a big old fuzzball. Both of these acrylics were really easy to work with. Um, none of them were really runny or, you know, slid around too much. Pretty easy. And yes, I left this all at regular speed just in case you wanted to see how slow I was at clear capping. <laughs> there you go. Pretty. Stop messing. And I wanted to show you that I did actually have an arch in there. You know, so there is, and I did it with the Eye Gel Beauty one too. There's more clear acrylic right there in that center where the arch would be. So I got it all filed up now, dry and filed up. Give it a dust, give it a wipe with some acetone. It looks good. It looks just satin. It looks like satin. So pretty. And we're using the iGel Beauty 
no right chapter. Cross corners, Missy. Fix it. Yeah, that top right there. Fix it. Looks awful. Okay, fine. Go fix it. Throw the lamp. Hopefully, it got a chance to fix itself. Nope, it really didn't. But there you have it. They actually are crystal clear, the both of them. I'm really happy with both of them. And I might just buy a big old jug of eye gel beauty. I'm not sure. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!